Hi there, this is Ross of Wood Fire Power and today I'm going to talk about iron chelate and this is a look at some leaves on some cinnamon basil uh, about four hours after adding um, iron chelate to fix a deficiency problem that I finally identified. You can see the new leaves are coming in green there right in the center of the rosette whereas the older leaves were yellowed um, and you can see the greening coming in around the veins and it's coming in and spreading out across the leaves. So the younger leaves have already um, responded, a number of them, whereas the older leaves that have the yellow are going to take some time and some of them will never recover. These are some older plants that I'm on my way to tearing out. It's not as apparent in other plants, um, but let me show you what it looked like on the um, a green butter variety that wants a good amount of iron. So you can see this leaf here is kind of yellowed. These older leaves around the perimeter are a bit yellowed and the younger leaves in the center are nice and dark green. About four hours ago all of the leaves were lighter yellow. So the darker green is filling in just in the last few hours since I added the iron. So it is rather amazing that you can see the change happen so quickly in the plants, but you really can. Oftentimes it just fills right in along the veins and sometimes like with this variety the new leaves fill in um, nicely. And let me show you well here's a quick little thing. I added a mister right there. I just added this swamp cooler and by putting the mister in line it adds a little bit of moisture which you can see depositing on the dirt. So I put the baby plants here so that they can um, take advantage of the cool moist air along with the mist that's coming in through um, the new swamp cooler. Alright, but let's get back to the point which is figuring out that you have an iron deficiency. So the other day I did a test. Um, I sent a water sample off to the laboratory and it came back showing that things were pretty much in control but three things in particular. My pH always runs just kind of in the high sixes, 6.9 ideal it'd be 5.8. But with the aquaponics system I don't I don't get as low a pH as the lettuce might like. The three things that were significantly wrong were the nitrate. Um, that was probably just low at the time because that's not normally low the calcium and iron and so the nitrate and calcium um, kind of another thing today I want to talk about the iron and it's measured 0 0.39 parts per million when it should be at 3 to 5 parts per million so keep that a double star very low and Different people say different things as far as what the concentration ought to be. But for lettuce, it's in the 3 to 5 
parts per million seems like a lot of people mention those same numbers. Who knows if they're parroting one another or if that's just, you know, where it needs to be. Um, this reading was 2 to 3 milligrams per liter, 2 to 3 parts per million. Bright Agrotech, uh, a little up north of us, says that they add a quarter of a pound per week. They have a 4,000 gallon system. So you could do the ratio, but be careful. It's The thing that's important is how many plants you have, not how many gallons of water. If you had 4,000 gallons and you only have one plant growing, you do not need a quarter of a pound per week. Um, likewise, if you have a huge greenhouse full of plants and you have a really tiny reservoir of just a couple hundred gallons, you might need more than that per week. All right, so um, aquaponics source, which is another estimate, they say one to two teaspoons per hundred gallons every one to two weeks. So for my system, 2,000 gallons, about half the size of Bright Agritex, I'd multiply that by 100 gallons by 20 to get to 2,000 gallons, so that would mean I've got to multiply their 1 to 2 teaspoons by 20, so that's 20 to 40 teaspoons. That's equal to 0.4 to 0.8 cups every 1 to 2 weeks, so about a half a cup. Now I took the powder and weighed it out, so here's a little um, half cup measuring um, cup. And when I filled this with the um, iron chelate, um, this is what I purchased, just bulk iron chelate, it's less expensive. Here's aquaponic sources, aqua iron. Um, I think this is maybe 20% more expensive than buying bulk, so not bad, frankly. Um, but this was a bit less expensive. <clears throat> and um, I'll have to do another video and tell you where I got that. It was a company in Michigan that has bulk um, nutrients. Anyway, so the half cup weighed about um, a quarter of a pound, which means two cups per pound, somewhere around there. And so if it's two cups per pound, um, well, this is about a half a cup, so that's about a quarter of a pound. So interestingly, using aquaponics sources estimation gets me the amount that Bright Agritech actually adds to a system that's twice as large as mine. Now their calculation when they did it came out that they should be adding about a pound every um, three weeks. So that would be, you know, third of a pound a week. They actually add a quarter of a pound a week. All these numbers come in around the right ballpark and so if you have nice dark green lettuce or other plants because leafy greens need iron if you've got dark green you're probably okay if you don't have dark green iron is certainly one element that um, you should be looking for another clue that resulted on mine which was the calcium deficiency right there it was at about 80 when it should be 180 to 200 parts per million so that was seriously low and that resulted in tip burn on lettuce so if you're seeing tip burn on your lettuce um, calcium is something you might look for if you're seeing yellowing iron is something you might look for and those are a couple of clues. Anyway, hope that's helpful. This is Ross at Wood Fire Power. Have a great week.